With VMware AirWatch integration to Android for work, organizations get the possibility to manage any Android device independent of the vendor with a consistent look and feel for the end user and the enterprise security they require to provide and provision enterprise content to mobile devices. Users can enroll their device to AirWatch simply by downloading the AirWatch MDM agent from the public app store and providing the email address, server details or QR code. In the next step, users will be asked to authenticate. They use an AirWatch dedicated username and password or simply their Active Directory credentials if AD has been integrated with AirWatch. After users have provided their credentials, they will be prompted to set up their work profile. They simply need to click Next and agree to the terms. In the background, the Android for Work integration from AirWatch will automatically set up a device-specific Google account with which the administrators can push down applications silently in the background. Compared to previous integrations, users do not need to create the account by themselves, administrators do not need to create the account, but instead the AirWatch integration provisions this account silently in the background and users will be up and running without needing to provide any extra set of credentials. For devices which are encrypted already, the process will just take a minute. For devices which are not encrypted yet, the Android for Work enrollment process will enforce the user to encrypt the device. This way, the Android for Work can protect the corporate data and separate it from the user's um, personal data. Users automatically get a work folder on the device and the according work batched icons. Once the device is enrolled, any additionally automatically assigned apps will be automatically pushed down to the user's device. No user interaction is needed. The administrators have the possibility to define which apps come down as automatic installations and which apps the users can install on demand from the AirWatch app catalog. Once all applications have been downloaded to the user's device, users can conveniently place the work folder to any spot on their device to have a clear separation between private applications and the work applications. From within the work folder, they will find all of the work assigned applications with the work batch, clarifying that these applications are work managed and store the data in a specific work container, while the private version of the application can reside on the device in the same time, but will not fall under the work policies. Also with Android for Work, AirWatch fully supports the AirWatch browser, content locker and per app VPN configuration capabilities. In this case, I have marked the remote desktop client to automatically go through my per app VPN configuration. After users have gotten the app, the only thing that they need to do is set up the remote desktop connection settings. After the user has defined the connection, they can simply open the connection and AirWatch will seamlessly, silently in the background, spin up a per app VPN connection as it has been defined for this application and users can start using the application as they would expect it without needing to worry about any triggering of VPN connections or terminating these whenever they do not require those anymore. For applications which support the app config standard, administrators can also pre-provision all kind of settings into the application. In this case, um, we can push down the mFiles app, which supports remote configuration, so users do not need to type URLs, usernames and password anymore, but administrators can predefine these settings through the AirWatch admin console and have the apps automatically correctly configured per user and the according environment. Whenever a user doesn't want to be enrolled to Android for work anymore, doesn't need corporate resources on his device, or if an administrator decides that a certain user or device shouldn't have access to these anymore, the unenrollment can be done quickly and easily, either by the user himself, by unenrolling his device through the AirWatch MDM agent, or the administrators have the possibility to remotely unprovision the settings through the AirWatch MDM console.